Hey guys, so before I start this tutorial, I just want to say that this is a very old tutorial that I posted a while back on my Vimeo page, but never actually posted on my YouTube channel. Um, it was from two years ago, so don't expect it to be too amazing. But um, I think I'll be posting a few old tutorials that I either post on my Vimeo page or that I never actually posted anywhere. Um, so I actually found one or two files that I never actually got around to posting anywhere. So um, expect those for the next couple of weeks and I'll be trying to upload a new tutorial soon. can't promise you guys anything but I will definitely try to upload some new content. So enjoy! In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make custom gradients. Um, I'll just be showing you how to make custom web 2.0 kind of glossy gradients like this one or like this one. Um, they're not that good, they're fairly simple so this is just like extremely simple one. Uh, so, oh, um, be sure to check out my new website, link in the description, and thank you to Free Will Tutorials for making my new intro. Now, uh, you want to open up your Gradients dialog to get started, and if you don't have your Gradients dialog, just go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Gradients, and that should open it up. Now, once you have your Gradients dialog opened, uh, select this page icon, um, which should open up the Gradient Editor. Uh, I'm just going to name this... Um, just name it whatever, and now right click on the um, right click on this, just right click right here, and um, select left endpoints color. Now I'm just going to choose my main color is going to be black, so I'm just going to choose a light gray color. Now right click on it again, and go down to right endpoints color, and now I'm just going to choose black. And now right click again and select split segment at midpoint. Now you should get these um so just I'm going to drag this white arrow all the way over to the black one. I'm going to drag this white arrow over here. And it should look like that. Now once you have it in your gradients dialog, uh, once you're done you can just X out of the gradient editor and select your gradient tool or your blend tool and now you can just try it out and you should have a decent gradient. So that's about it. 